Hello guys, this is Vlad, and today I'm bringing you another Ticket tutorial. This one's going to be on solar panels. Now, with water mills you had them constantly running. With moon mills you have them constantly running if they're below a certain level so that they don't explode. But with solar panels, they're only running half of the Minecraft time unless you sleep because they're only producing power when the sun is up. So we've got four different grades of solar panels here. We've got the solar panel, and then we've got the solar or the low voltage solar array, then the medium voltage, and then the high voltage. Now each one produces a different amount. The solar panel produces 8 EUT, then going up it um, times it by 4, so 32, then 1828, then 512. And then each one is like needs a different cable because the ultra low current cables are good for really s things which generate a really small amount of EUT because they lose the least as dif different uh, as the distance is travelled, but they only can transport small amounts. So if you did like a high voltage cable for that, it would lose a lot more electricity as it went um, like f over blocks than if you used an ultra low current cable. But if you used an ultra low current cable for this, it would just vaporize. And so you need either, you can either use the glass fiber cables for all of these, which is probably the best apart from, I think this one, I think the tin actually might, I'm pretty sure the tin um, is better than the glass fiber cable when it's really small amounts of power. But um, the solar panel, you just need tin um, or the ultra low current cable. Then in this one, you need the insulated copper cable. Then with the medium voltage solar array, you need um, the two times insulated gold cable. And then with the high voltage solar array, you need the high voltage co cable. Yeah. Or the four times high voltage insulated cable. Now, um, in the earlier ticket updates, this would be the most effective way to place your solar panels. Um, just in a flower arrangement with um, a glass fiber cable, but now that the ultra low current cables have come out, it's a lot more effective to set them up like this. So we have 13 solar panels and another box like this. Now I haven't like tested any of this stuff. I get all my information from the ticket, the ticket wiki or the ticket wiki or whatever. And so this is um how much normal solar panels would produce like that. And this is an MFSU for Audi, so keep that in mind. And then the low voltage, medium voltage, halfway. Yeah, you get the idea. It's this, these ones, the, these two of these or five of these or something produce more than um, nuclear reactors. So you can see how much power that's giving you right there. Same with like here. By itself, it's still pretty good. I like just barely f um, filled a bat box, but um. Yeah, so that's it guys, that's what cables you should use, and that's how much electricity they, they produce, and how you should set them up. And so like, if you had these on your roofs, you'd have huge rows of these side by side, and then cables going into one thing, or many things, in some cases. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, um, like and subscribe if you like this video, and give me a feedback so I can try and improve my videos some more. Thank you.